I'm tracking sunshine for your Friday, but timing out rain and snow in the first warm forecast. Robin Voss held in contempt. The daily fine he'll face if he doesn't comply with a court order. We actually are preferring telehealth. We are hearing from local mental health experts about the governor's plan to expand youth services. Good morning and welcome to News 3 Now This Morning. I'm Chris Reese. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Leah Lynchide. Chris Stanford has the day off. Well, today's a new day on our show. Starting this morning, you're going to be seeing a familiar face joining us on the desk from now on. Chris, a new role for you. Yeah, absolutely. There's a rule that there must be a Chris on the desk <laughs> at all times. And ultimately, back in college, I was a news anchor. I've always wanted to actually be a news anchor, so I'm happy to take on this new opportunity. Some folks might be surprised, but really news is where your passion lies. Yeah, it really is. And I've brought you weather news for so many years. It's been my whole career this far. But as we take that next step, I'm, I'm ready to serve you the breaking news every day right here from the desk. Well, we're so excited to have you. Thank what you. a new day here on News 3 Now this morning. Now, as part of those big changes, Josh Spider is also taking on a new role. Say hello to your newest morning meteorologist, Josh. Hey, guys. Good morning. Yeah, it's been my dream to be a meteorologist ever since a little boy. And now with Chris moving over to the desk, they're giving me the opportunity to bring you the weather each and every morning. So here it goes. Our first forecast here on a Friday morning as you head out the door today. Look at that beautiful sunrise shot as that sun starts to come up. We're going to need those sunglasses for our Friday. Friday, finishing the week off with all that sun after kind of a gloomy week. We'll love to see that. You're not going to need the umbrella today, but you are going to want that jacket and coat as you head out the door because we are starting quite cold out there with those clear skies overnight. You can really tell that that did cool us down. We're starting off at 23 degrees, not feeling so much like April 1st out there, but the good news is those winds are calm. So right now the wind chill is actually at 23 degrees as well. Look at temperatures across the 608 this morning, 23 in Madison, 21 in in Janesville. You can see uh, over on eastern Wisconsin on the Lake Michigan shoreline, we're looking a little bit better this morning due to being there on the lake. As we take a look at Doppler track this morning, things are quiet across the state, really. Just a couple of flurry action on the eastern side up near uh, the Fox River Valley in Green Bay this morning. Taking a look at future track, though, we are tracking our next system moving in overnight. You can see it moving in from the west this morning as we time things out overnight tonight, 3 a.m. You can start to see it moving into the 6 wait. Uh, we're going to start off with those snowy conditions as you head out the door. You can see those temperatures flirting with freezing, so that is why we're going to start to see a little bit of that mix moving in as well, but things will be moving out. We'll be drying things out as we move through the rest of our Saturday. Taking a look at Met Metro Future Cast today, we're going to have a high of around 44 degrees this afternoon. Not too bad with those sunny skies, though. They're not quite as cold today. Taking a look at that seven-day forecast, seven to ten-day forecast this morning. You see we are are going to be going back into those rain and snow chances over the next few days. Not a lot of sunshine in that forecast, unfortunately. Uh, we've got a lot to uh, track, uh, especially when it comes to that snow with those temperatures. Depending on if it's on the warm side or not, that'll kind of depend on if we see any of those uh, snow accumulations out there again. Uh, we're not seeing a warm up until look at that later next weekend, guys. 57 by next Sunday is a long ways away from now, but of course, we'll be tracking it right here in the First Warren Weather Center. You're going to be busy this week as your first week in the Weather Center, huh? This is a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure, you know, but I think we're, we're going to have things handled perfectly. Well, you know, I'm still in the building to help you if you need it, but I'll tell you, I'm really excited for that snow. I might be at the anchor desk, but I still love the snow. First forecast, what do you think, Chris Reese? <laughs> I, I, good job, Josh. Thank really you. <laughs> that was a great job. It feels good. I'm living out the dream. Josh right. Spreider, thank you very much. You bet. All right, just into the newsroom at this hour, we do have some breaking news. April Fool's. <laughs> I can breathe. I can breathe. I was so nervous. What naturals? Oh my goodness. I think we I were was both convinced. nervous too. Oh my gosh. Think about it. <laughs> my heart Wonderfully has been pounding all morning. I didn't sleep last night. All right. All right. We did it. We're going to return to some regular programming now. Yes. Now we need to swap. Seats. We need to swap positions here. Exactly. All right. Josh, I guess I'm doing, I'm doing double duty because I'm in the prompter right away again. Chris Reese. Yes, you are. I have to say, in a pinch, you guys do very well in each other's roles. That was impressive. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah, Thank I was, you very it's, much. It's fun. Something different. Yeah, you never know. Great. Maybe someday, right? Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs>
April Fools. We love it. <laughs> All right, 604 is your time right now. And to this morning's news, doing double duty this morning, we're looking ahead to the 2022 election here in Wisconsin and Tommy Thompson paying former President Trump a visit at Mar-a-Lago. Thompson's former aide says Thursday's meeting was mostly about Wisconsin politics. The former four-term governor says he hasn't ruled out another run after recently stepping down as UW System president at age 80. Jared Kushner, a senior advisor to his father-in-law, former President Trump, becoming the highest ranking member of the administration and first member of the Trump family to testify before the House Committee investigating the January 6th assault on the U.S. Capitol. He sat for a voluntary virtual hearing yesterday. Federal authorities are apparently expanding their investigation of the Capitol riots. Now looking into the fundraising and organizing of the rally before rioters stormed the Capitol. In recent weeks, a grand jury in Washington has issued subpoenas connected to widening that investigation. Well, now that Assembly Speaker Robin Voss is being held in contempt, Voss now has a two-week window to show he is searching for the documents or face a $1,000 daily fine. The case centers on who's in charge of the records in the Gableman investigation that the progressive group American Oversight wants to see. Now, Speaker Voss says he forwarded the group's open records request to Gableman, but a Dane County judge says that's not enough. Our political reporter, Will Keneally, explains. We didn't violate the law. It's just whether or not she's willing to accept the facts. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss told the Racine Journal Times he has complied with the judge's request to search for records related to the Gableman investigation. But the judge says it's up to Voss to keep track of the documents, not to defer to Gableman to search for them. Yeah, it's a liberal judge in Dane County basically using the power of their office to try to make us look bad. But Bill Leaders of the Wisconsin Freedom of Information Council says Voss's refusal to present the documents sets a dangerous precedent. If you listen to what Robin Voss's defense was to this, to blame this on the judge who's supposedly trying to just make Republicans look bad, it's clear he has actual contempt for the notion that he should be held accountable to anyone. He hasn't seen an open records case get to the point of contempt. That's a pretty extraordinary thing. Uh, people need to see all the records, not just the records that Justice Gableman and Speaker Voss want you to see. Melanie Sloan is with American Oversight, which is suing for the records. This suit is one of a couple. We had another court decision recently uh, where we were ordered, uh, where Justice Gableman was ordered to hand over documents from that. Um, it's really them trying to stop our investigation. This all focuses back on them not wanting to get to the truth of what happened in 2020. But at the end of the day, uh, a Dane County judge um, does what a Dane County judge does, which is usually hurt conservatives. Now, Speaker Voss can try his chances appealing to a higher, possibly friendlier Supreme Court, but Bill Luter says Voss is likely to lose that challenge. Continuing coverage this morning, local mental health experts are weighing in after Governor Evers announced a $5 million plan to expand youth telehealth services across the state. You usually need to take off several hours a day to be able to get them um, to their appointment. Your kid then has to miss a couple hours of school. In Madison, we're pretty highly saturated with providers, but even with that, it can take up to six months for kids to get in to be seen. For Dr. Andrea Palema, tele-mental health sessions for her young patients has become the new normal. She says what started as a way to social distance has now made it easier for parents to make their kids' mental health a priority. But UW Emeritus Counseling Psychology Professor Bruce Wampold says this may not be enough. If the funding isn't permanent, then we really can't hire clinicians to fill positions because... Clinicians want to be hired for permanent positions. Half of the $5 million will create shared access points at food pantries, homeless shelters, and schools. But Dr. Palema says the shortage in mental providers, mental health providers, isn't just about creating infrastructure and new positions, but also finding clinicians to fill those spots. All right, 608 on your April Fool's Day. Coming up, the Bucks are heading to the playoffs on a historic game for the Greek Freak. A look at the shot that made him the all-time leading scorer for the team. But first, we're taking a look back at what March brought us in the 608. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... 
This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video that the viewers can watch while you and I talk, so they can actually see how this works. And you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescription, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, uh -huh. it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home. I had the timer on and we were screaming. Four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> These lines bother me. They really do. And this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great, looks even better. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. So it targets all those problem areas. So this would be a daily thing or just when you wanna like get rid of the bags and yeah. you would I mean, morning routine. It, it absolutely could be a daily thing, but the way you want to do it is you want to have a clean, dry face, use a small amount because it's so powerful, apply it underneath your eyes, fine line wrinkles, forehead lines. You have high school reunions, you have events you want to go to, you want to look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. What can so Bello do for you? How about a new shape? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. New confidence. I can see a huge difference. New you. I can wear a little black dress. I feel sexy. With Sono Bello, you can remove stubborn body fat permanently in just one visit. Don't wait a moment longer to reveal the new you. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation with Sono Bello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and find out how you can get $250 off. Sono Bello uses TriSculpt Micro Laser Liposuction to remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently for incredible transformations in just one visit. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Call 1-888-622-8360 or go to sonobello.com. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now This Morning. All right, we are looking back on the month of March in the 608. You know it was filled with a lot of fun. Some dancing, some eating, of course. If Josh is involved, there's always eating. Involved. There's always eating. I mean, yeah. I've got donuts on my socks this morning. Of so. course he does. We're Marshall always course. looking for food. And of course, we are going to take a look back at all the places we've been with all the food, the dancing, the drinks. In the last month here in the 608, here we go. What all goes into making king cake? Well, ice it. You can put the sugar on it. Perfect. We love the sugar yeah. at this time of the morning. And we'll let you take this one back with you. That sounds good. <laughs> Boy, pressure's on now. Now I better put a little bit of extra sugar on this. <laughs> it's Fat Tuesday. We're going to have one more. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say it? Ch uh, cheddar is better? Cheddar. <laughs> They're all Gouda. <laughs> He's got it. Making He's me got work it. today. Well, we got to work off that cheese, I heard. <laughs> a lot of cheese, <laughs> a lot of poon skis. Chocolate hazelnut. Here we go. Ooh. That is really good. Thank that you. was not what I expected it was going <laughs> to taste like either. This is awesome, guys. You've got, I've got my flight here. I'm good to go. Ready, set. Here you go. Point, knee, put in back to the top step. Point, knee, put in back to the top step. Point, knee, and back. Knee, put in back, put in back to the top step. You did so good. Point and take a big bow. Ooh. I did it. Yeah. I think I did better than last year. Yeah, good job. Nice job. After their twins' nearly four-month stay at St. Mary's Hospital, Molly wanted to find a way to give back with her own experience and perspective. Where I'd be most put to use is at the bedside with the parents who are watching their children and 
wondering what's next and sort of comforting in that in that angle. We want to support local artists, we want to support local nonprofits, but we're hoping to get more engagement. And over the last couple of years, the pandemic obviously forced in the closures of a lot of uh, community buildings like this one, but you guys have really taken the time to improve the building for now the performances that are back here. During COVID, we added streaming to our services and you can just uh, watch the show at home or it streams down in our lounge also. So if you need a break from being in the theater, just want to come down and have a drink or just get away from the crowd, uh, you can watch the show live down in the lounge. And the pie day eating contest happening now here at Hubbard Avenue Diner. Three, two, and one. Oh yeah. These are our crazy happy shakes. And this one that Dale's gonna bring in is called For Peep's Sake. Oh, For Peep's Sake. <laughs> oh, for Look peep's at that. Sake. <laughs> I just don't even know where to start with this thing. So much yummy goodness there. You're still coming down from that sugar high. Yesterday, my <laughs> gut the entire day. I just gut rot the entire day. Just was not satisfied after all that sugar. But hey, I mean, normally you're not eating it at five o'clock in the morning too. But just isn't it so cool to see? We've decided that after how much fun we had with our year anniversary last month, uh, we're going to start doing this every month, taking a look back at some of those bright spots that we brought you here in the 608 on News 3 Now this morning. Because you know what? There are some bad days out there. We've all had them. But there are a lot of good things happening in our communities too. And so many amazing amazing people like it's so much fun like like yesterday every day you have such a fun morning and hopefully we're able to do that for you on TV and we're making your mornings as well it's a good reminder for these folks who live in these towns in these necks of Madison as well like hey we have this bright spot in our community oh we might have forgotten about that ice cream shop or about the pie shop down the street we have these little gems to be really proud of so and it's yeah we're lucky to have you highlighting these spots it's fun to see all the local support there too yeah. it's like whether it was yesterday at the Creekside Scoop whether it was at the Stoughton Opera House like like people, they love their communities and they love to showcase what's going on there. We're happy to be able to do it too. So please keep sending those story ideas to me. We're going to keep this going. Uh, I was going to say fam. Folks, you guys are my <laughs> fam though too. Yeah, yeah. In the 608, you can reach out either on social media or email for a chance to be featured only on News 3 Now this morning. Gosh, you had such a busy month too. Really need to look back, Josh. A lot of good stuff. All right, 616 now. The NBA champion Bucks, they're playoff bound after an intense battle with the Brooklyn Nets last night. Did you catch this game? The Bucks were battling from behind, most of it, but they kept it close. Giannis really coming to play. He scored 44 points, had 14 rebounds. He also hit the game-tying three to send this thing into overtime. That allowed Giannis to pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the Bucks' all-time scorer. Pretty exciting for the Greek freak. In overtime, Bucks were able to inch past the Nets for a 120 to 119 victory. Giannis, Woo! we're so lucky to have him here in Wisconsin, Aren't we? isn't that? And awesome? he has shown his loyalty. He does not plan on leaving. And just a good guy too, a darn yes. right good guy, and we love to see that. Awesome. All right, well, you can expect to see Johnny Davis go somewhere in the lottery this year after declaring for the NBA draft yesterday. Davis is a consensus first team All-American and the Big Ten Player of the Year. He's a finalist for the Naismith Player of the Year as well and the Wooden Award. The draft lottery is the first 14 picks of the draft. A lot of experts are picking him to go top 10. If selected on June 23rd, he'd be the first Badger taken in the draft since 2015 when Frank Kaminsky and Sam Decker were selected. Excited for him. Sad to see him leave, but excited for him. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things. He had an outstanding season. I think a lot of folks, you know, kind of forecasted this and happening. Yeah. Um, we're we're, we're going to be watching him either way, right? Exactly. He's always a badger in our hearts. All right. Chris Reese in the 608 with the first Warren forecast this morning. How's it going, Chris? Hey, it's going well. I'll tell you what. We may be done with our own April Fool's joke here, but <laughs> Mother Nature sending more snow our way. That happens tonight and into parts of tomorrow. This will be mixed with a little bit of rain at times. Times, but then we're just active. We'll have multiple systems that are going to be moving in from the west as we go through the week. Every single one of these systems has the potential to feature at least some sort of snow, whether that's at the start of it or on the tail end of each one. That was model number one. Let me show you model number two. It also brings some snow our direction as we start to move towards Saturday morning. So this is something to really pay some close attention to. It brings in another system as we get towards Monday another one Tuesday into Wednesday that might end as a couple of snowflakes by Thursday. So it's an active weather pattern. 
He had an ugly weather pattern too because none of these were all that warm. Every single one of them featured some sort of colder air as they worked their way on through. This is the upper air pattern. As I say all the time, what happens upstairs really drives what happens downstairs for us and look at all the colder air that we see. Most of that warmer air is going to stay bottled up back towards our west and that's the reason that even over the next couple of weeks, the expectation is for warmer than normal temperatures throughout the western part of the country. Meanwhile, cooler than normal across the eastern part of the country that does potentially even include us right here in Wisconsin. So I know that we, we've been through it. It was not that snowy this winter, but we had a very cold winter. And I know a lot of folks are like, I am just ready for some warmth. Give it some time. Give it some time. But for these next couple of weeks, uh, temperatures will be average to just below average. Probably. Yeah, it's so hard. You know, we just want spring to be here so much. It'll come. It always comes eventually, right, Chris? Yes, it does. And every time it comes and we get to summer, we realize just how worth it winter is. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. Yes, mm -hmm. we're almost there. April 1st, we're getting there, folks. All right, 619, almost 620 this morning. And just ahead for us, how doctors help save a bird dealing with cancer. And coming up in our next half hour, a Wisconsin news anchor taking on some foul. It's the story of the day. Stay with us. Every day, News 3 Now investigates. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit Cobison.com to apply. Does anyone really remember who comes in second? No, they don't. That's why you've got to put it all out there and be relentless. Because to be the best, you have to elevate your game. Hy-Vee took breakfast to a whole new level with new items made fresh to order. So when it comes to the best breakfast around, they know fresh. And here's a simple takeaway. If you think you can find any better, then you don't know Hy-Vee and you don't know Jack. I like my smile. I like my smile after finishing the power swabs. I think white teeth are absolute sexy magnets. I love it. The power swabs have really made a huge difference on the entire quality and color of my teeth, and I'm very, very happy with them. <laughs> I've used strips and trays, and they both gave me really sensitive teeth for hot drinks, ice cream, anything hot or cold. Really, really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and nothing. I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> it is so fast. It is effective. The great thing about power swabs is that it's just easy to use. To me, it's the best solution for teeth whitening on the market. Introducing Power Swabs, the five minute stain removing and whitening treatment. Apply the step one stain removing cleanser. Use the swab to get in between teeth, around edges, as the blue cleansing detergent is thin enough to get into pores to release stains. Open swab two. Duplicate the process. Instantly see up to a full two shade difference. That's powerful. Forget gooey trays. Save a fortune on electronics. Forget slippery strips. Imagine your teeth up to six shades whiter in a week. Call or visit us online now and we'll send you the complete power swab system. Seven cleansing swabs, seven power swab foaming whitening swabs. Thanks for celebrating hundreds of thousands of satisfied smiles. We're offering them to you right now for this incredible discount. We'll pay your shipping and handling. If you're not fully satisfied, even after day one, return it for your money back. Laugh more, smile more, enjoy life more. Call right now or go online now and we've been authorized for a limited time to include our on-the-go Power Swab Stain Out Quick Stick. It's a 1995 value, free. With this complete offer, you are saving over 40%. Call or go online now. Brighten your smile and your life now. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. My name is Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. Welcome back. We always ask you to share your morning with us and Chrissy pulling at my uh, heartstrings this morning. You know I love an eagle. 
Yeah, you know, this is an incredible shot. I know that that's near and dear to your heart, your family's heart, and we always love to see, you know, just these up close and personal with nature, right? Like just incredible, incredible picture there, Chrissy. You know uh, why we love eagles? It reminds us of Levi. So, Chrissy, thanks so much for thinking of us. Really appreciate it. Hey, um, if you are out there taking a picture of your morning, make sure to post it on social. Use the hashtag MyNews3Morning so we can find our shape, uh, find and share our favorites right here on the program. Okay, 623 now. A Florida medical team saved a great hornbill bird with cancer using a 3D printer. Yeah, this is incredible work. Take a look at this. A group of vets coming together after noticing a lesion on the bird named Crescent. They suspect expected it to be a type of skin cancer, and while researching, one of the vets found that another hornbill bird was saved using 3D printed technology and got right to work on a new beak. The zoo says Crescent has her new beak and is thriving. Look at that. The incredible innovation. Just think of, you know, where 3D printing started to where it is now. Like, I'm guessing, like, the in inventor is probably not really knowing what to expect out of that. And now look at that. You're saving animals. That's pretty neat. I wonder if the inventor gets, like, paid for some of these new discoveries or different things that they can do with 3D printers. That, I don't know. It's been on my mind. And you still know this is just the start, too, right? Now yeah, they know that they can do this. Imagine the other things they're going to be able to do. Uh, as you all know, I've watched Grey's Anatomy. There's an episode many seasons ago, I can't even remember when, but essentially um, they started 3D printing parts and like they were testing them to see if they would work and they ended up working. They tried it in a human and I was like, Huh, I wonder if medicine will actually reach that point. Maybe it already has, and I just don't know. Yeah. I'm sure Where in a lot of ways 3D it has. 3D print parts, yeah, and I was just like, this is really cool, and, and now we're seeing that. A lot of smart folks out there. Mm -hmm. Speaking of really cool, those temperatures, buddy. My mm. goodness, winter or spring? Powerful. Good transition. <laughs> Sometimes I, I, I do well. It really well. was. Very powerful, Leah. It is cool, especially <laughs> as you begin to head out to the bus stop this morning. We do have some sunshine, but it is colder. Poor kids who were on spring break this week, who stayed in town mm -hmm. because it was really just winter break number two <laughs> when you think oh, of the weather that we've had really this was. week oh my goodness but we do see sunshine to round out this friday temperatures are going to top out into the 40s but we'll see another chance for snow that arrives tonight and into your saturday in the meantime doppler track is quiet look at that wow mm -hmm. from abba to the beatles here comes the sun <laughs> 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 temperatures at 23 degrees right now as you begin to head out the door all right chris reese thank you stick around folks news Street now this morning is back for 30 more minutes of local news and weather in just a few minutes News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. At Pick and Save, we believe fresh is all about standards. Like for oranges, we check for color and scarring and more. Because when it comes to fresh for everyone, we believe the juice is worth the squeeze. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. Irresistibly smooth chocolate to put the world on pause. Lindor. Made to melt you by the Lint Master Chocolatier. In a world divided by tiny screens, you deserve to be entertained. You deserve a night together with maximum action and endless adventure. You deserve amazing food and actual in-person shopping where you can try something on and not have to mail it back. The answer is simple. The Midwest Horse Fair in Madison, Wisconsin, April 22nd through 24th. Be there. Your mission, stand up to moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis and take it on with Rinvoke. Rinvoke, a once daily pill, can dramatically improve symptoms. Rinvoke helps tame pain, stiffness, swelling, and for some, Rinvoke can even significantly reduce RA fatigue. That's Rinvoke relief. With RA, your overactive immune system attacks your joints. Rinvoke regulates it to help stop the attack. 
where Invoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attacks, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Talk to your rheumatologist about Rinvoke Relief. Rinvoke, make it your mission. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Rinvoke. Contact Culligan, your local water expert. Inflation has surged to a 40-year high. Democrats declared war on fossil fuels, so gasoline prices are at record levels. President Obama's chief economist says inflation is costing your family $4,000 a year. Why? Because Democrats are printing trillions of dollars to pay for their massive deficit spending. Inflation is the Democrats' tax on the middle class. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message because I'm concerned about rising prices just like you. At Pick and Save, every free pickup order is picked fresh and packed with care, or we'll make it right. We're fresh every day, so shop anyway. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. A suspect with pending charges in Madison's first homicide of the year. What the victim was doing when he was killed. We may see sun this morning, but more snow is on the way. I have the weekend forecast coming up. Plus, our Time for Kids team looking into things in your home that you should keep away from children. Good Friday morning, everybody. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Leah Lynch. -Eye. And I'm Josh Ryder. Chris Stanford has the day off. Enjoyed a nice weekend. I know it was a big week for them. A lot of birthdays in the family. A lot of So Chris ha celebrated a birthday. Their middle girl celebrated a birthday. They also had spring break this week. So I'm sure he and his wife have had their hands full. Nice little Friday off. Hope they're having a nice time. Yeah, I think they had a birthday celebration planned for this weekend, too. Some family coming in town, too. The so. weather not perfect for it, though. No, unfortunately, you know, usually by this time, I shouldn't say usually. Usually. Sometimes by this time, you know, we're seeing some nicer weather out there, but not so far, uh, especially into this uh, first day of April. Meteorologist Chris Reese is here with their certified most accurate forecast, though the sun may come out today, though, Chris. Yeah, the sun's already out today this morning, so grab the sunglasses as you head out the door, take the umbrella, and keep it at home, at least for today. You might need that as we start to move towards the weekend. Keep the jacket on hand as well, especially headed out the door. A lot of those temperatures a little bit cooler, but look at this beautiful shot. Still seeing some snow on the roofs and the ground in that camera shot as well, but it is chilly. 23 degrees right now. Winds out of the west and northwest at three. There's still light enough that the wind chill is not much of a concern as you head out. Temperatures generally are in the 20s for all of us, except for Milwaukee and Sheboygan. Coming in at 30, Black River falls to the north and west at 14 this morning. Otherwise, it is 20s all across the board. You look at Doppler track. We are quiet. I'm tracking a couple of flurries. You see those more so right along the Fox River Valley, but outside of that, the whole Badger State is quiet this morning, even all the way up into parts of Minnesota. It's quiet right now. That changes as we go through time. Temperatures this afternoon, they're going to be topping out into the middle 40s. Here comes cloud cover, though, moving in from the west overnight tonight, 3 o'clock in the morning. Temperatures have fallen. We're back around the freezing point now. Moisture starting to stream in. You see that as snow initially, and that is snow as we go throughout Saturday, potentially mixing in with some raindrops before that starts to end into Saturday afternoon. But again, temperatures are going to be hovering right around or just above that freezing point. So just like yesterday, a slushy couple inches of accumulation is going to be possible across parts of the state as we go through Saturday. By Saturday afternoon, we'll really start to quiet things down. That being said, for today, 44, mostly sunny skies overall. We will not be as cold as we were yesterday. Your weekend forecast, snow to rain on Saturday. By Sunday, it is sunshine early. Will be windy. Then the rain starts to move in later on Sunday. In fact, those PM rain showers will take hold pretty quick closer to dinner time. Then another chance for snow. On Monday, more rain chances. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, they have flurry chances at night and in the morning.
Keeping you busy over there in the weather center there, Chris. <laughs> yes, we are very busy, but hey, perhaps 50s by the end of next week. All right, we'll look forward to that. Chris Reese, thank you. 632 right now, one of the persons of interest from Wednesday night's shooting in downtown Madison is now being classified as a suspect with homicide charges pending. The second person is also still in jail on a probation violation. We believe that this was a premeditated and pre-planned targeted incident. We're still working to determine a motive. The victim was shot just as he was leaving the Dane County Jail with one of his family members. More than a dozen shell casings were found at the scene. No one has been identified yet, though we do know the victim lived in Madison his whole life. Now, if you had our News 3 Now mobile app yesterday, you were the first to know the details coming out of that breaking police press conference. Download it today and stay up to date on this story and all of your local breaking news. New this morning, a man has died in a crash that closed Highway 104 for more than five hours yesterday. The Greene County Sheriff's Office says a 25-year-old broadhead man lost control of his car, causing him to cross the center line and crash into a semi-truck. The crash happening just outside of Albany before 8 in the morning Thursday. He was brought to the hospital where he later died. Police say he was not wearing a seatbelt. Today is the deadline for people in Madison to vote early before Election Day. There's still time to register to vote ahead of the April 5th election. You can also register the day of. Clerks are reminding people to bring proof of residence when registering. That can be a paycheck, bank statement, or valid driver's license. If you aren't sure if you're registered to vote, you can check your status online at myvote.wi.gov. We have a link to that over on channel3000.com. This morning, President Biden is going to drain roughly one-third of the oil reserve in a move to help Americans combat rising gas prices. This is the largest release ever. It's only the fourth time the measure has been taken. It happened during the Gulf War after Hurricane Katrina and the 2011 Libyan Civil War. Look, I know gas prices are painful. I get it. My plan is going to help ease that pain today and safeguard again against tomorrow. The Biden administration says this will replenish the Strategic Petroleum Reserve when prices come down. Governor Evers continuing to use his veto powers against Republican passed bills. Yesterday, he vetoed a bill that would have defined a riot and would have created a mandatory sentencing for participating in one. The governor said there were already laws to keep protesters from breaking them and that new bill would infringe on their First Amendment rights. He also vetoed a bill that would have allowed hunting ranches to raise cloven hooved animals like buffalo, goats, and antelope. A Sheboygan Falls child is in critical condition this morning after being allegedly assaulted by his mother. According to police, the father and another 10-year-old child were home during the assault. The father calling 911 and performing life-saving measures on the 8-year-old. He was brought to Children's Hospital in Milwaukee. No names have been released. We just would like to give, you know, prayers and privacy to the family at this point. Um, and we know that the child's in really good hands down at Children's Hospital. Sheboygan Falls Police say the mother was brought to the hospital to be medically treated for self-inflicted wounds. They shall say she'll be taken into custody when she's been medically cleared and are considering assault charges. Today, Ukrainian and Russian negotiators are set to resume talks virtually online. The two sides have made little progress in ending the war. Even establishing temporary ceasefires to deliver humanitarian aid has proved difficult. Meanwhile, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant has been handed back to the Ukrainians. That may be a military tactic by Russia as it regroups for more powerful attacks in the southeast part of the country. For the first time, we're hearing the heartbreaking stories of Ukrainian refugees seeking safety in Wisconsin. Some of those people have made it to Dane County. A family of Ukrainian refugees has resettled in Fitchburg. They made it out of Ukraine with the help of their Wisconsin friends who they met almost two decades ago. As they tell our Susan Simon, they made the decision to flee their home in Kiev just two days before the Russian invasion began. So you have that vital piece of paperwork, but it, what happens at the point where you say, we're getting out of here? Um, what, what is that like emotionally? Uh, if it's extremely difficult to say go, just go or run or escape. You can hear more from the family as they work to resettle in Susan Simon's story on channel3000.com. And this morning, we're also learning more from a Minnesotan man returning home after being detained by Russians in Ukraine. They basically told me, hey, you have a blue passport. We are going to detain you because you're a spy. I was expecting something, but I didn't expect to be questioned on almost a daily basis like I was. 
Tyler Jacobs was trying to leave Ukraine to come back to Winona, Minnesota when he was detained. He was held for eight days before being released. He says his wife and his daughter are still there. He hopes to have them back in the States by June. Coming up on 638 right now, dozens of things in your home that could be deadly if your child ingested them. In this week's Time for Kids, experts are sharing what to be mindful of and helping you keep poisonous items out of small hands. Chris Reese is back with us with that story. Hey, Chris. Odds are there are things in your home that you don't even know would be poisonous if ingested, especially for a small child under the age of six. If you have uncertainties about these dangers, you are not alone. SSM Health pediatrician Dan Beardmore says to be alert very early on. As soon as they're able to put things in their mouth and be mobile, which can be as young as three and even four months of age, you know, we, we expect kids to be walking and getting into things when they're toddlers, but even the youngest of age can surprise us by rolling or scooting somewhere and Everything they find goes to the mouth at a very young age um, because that's how they learn about the world around them. And unfortunately, how they get into some dangerous situations. As young ones still discover what's safe and what's not, Beardmore says common household dangers can include medicines, cigarette, tobacco, or vaping products, batteries, cleaning supplies, and pod-style detergents. He says the best thing you can do to avoid an issue is to keep all medicines and possible hazards up high and locked away. Our Time for Kids Recipe for Health team is always asking what you want to hear about, so let us know what health topics you're interested in, or you can share your family's health story with us online at ssmhealth.com slash time for kids. Some really good advice this morning. Chris Reese, thank you very much. My pleasure. All right, let's go ahead and take a live look outside. Just about 6.40 on a Friday morning, looking at East Washington towards the Capitol right now. We've got a sunny Friday on the way, but more snow and rain on the way for the weekend. Chris Reese timing it out for us, coming up in his first warm forecast. And the hunt for a turkey that messed with the wrong news anchor. The story of the day, you gotta catch it. It's after the break. Furniture and Appliance Mart Spring Semi-Annual Sale is happening right now. For a limited time only, save up to 40% off clearance at Special Buy Appliances. Plus, pay no interest for 12 months. Only at Furniture and Appliance Mart, inside Ashley off the Beltline at East Springs Drive. Fresh out of Papa Murphy's Kitchen, the Buffalo Ranch Chicken Pizza. Uh, actually... It's fresh out of my oven. Dad, it's just an expression. Grilled chicken, crunchy bacon, covered in creamy buffalo sauce. Now that is an expression. Change the way you pizza. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now. 1-800-914-6947. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes, and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates. Live better debt free. We'll even show you how to use your stimulus money to jumpstart our services and get you debt free faster than you ever thought possible. Call Credit Associates now to see how much you could save for free. Call 1-800-914-6947. Its revolutionary rollerball design delivers fast, powerful, long-lasting pain relief. Leave it and see what's possible. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. Ashley Spring Semi Annual Sale is happening now. Spruce up this season with store wide furniture savings. For a limited time, discounts up to 54% off. Plus, get an additional 10% off and pay no interest for 36 months. It's the Spring Semi Annual Sale only at Ashley. 
U.S. ad spending is set to surpass $300 billion by 2022, and the greater Madison area is poised for major growth. So now would be a great time to consider a career in multimedia sales and to join our team selling our top-rated media and digital solutions. Work for a company that offers training, autonomy, flexibility, income growth, upward mobility, and work-life balance with a competitive wage. If you have a passion to drive results for local businesses, then visit morganmurphymedia.com right now to apply. Welcome back. How about this? The oldest active ranger in the National Park Service is retiring this week at the age of 100. Betty Reed Soskin was instrumental in bringing the Rosie the Riveter National Historical Park to Richmond, California. That national park pays tribute to the efforts of American civilians on the home front during World War II. The park she helped create is now throwing a retirement party for her this month. Congrats to her well-deserved retirement. Yeah, 100 years old. Wow. The 64th Grammy Awards are this Sunday right here on CBS. And Anthony Mason got a behind-the-scenes tour of what to expect on the show with the producers and found out you can expect anything. We were wondering what these were. Uh, microphone, well, they're speakers, so you can hear what's going on. Ah, okay. Otherwise, how would you able to I speak? Thought, I thought it was like a camera was going to be on everybody. And yeah, everything. no, we're going to film exactly. We, everyone wants to know what Jay Balvin's going to eat, and so we're just putting a little, <laughs> we're going to be able to cut to what he eats at any moment. Yeah, no, this is so you can hear it. You can see Anthony's full story, including a talk with the brothers Osborne as they rehearse for the show coming up at 7, only on CBS Mornings. All right, Chris Reese here now with your first worn weather. You're certified most accurate. A live look at your morning commute on this Friday. Hey, Chris. Yeah, this is East Washington at 2nd Street looking right up towards Capitol. The roads are all in great shape. Some of those neighborhood roads this morning may have a thin layer of some snow on them. That's not going to last long as the sun comes up. That being said, you've got the green light all day long. I'm not expecting any weather related issues as you begin to hit the roads today. Doppler track is quiet. We do have some snow showers and flurries up around the Fox River cities, but outside of that, look at all that sun, that orange glow on the horizon. Just beautiful there. 23 right now. Wind chills. Pretty much lined up with temperatures this morning as well. And as you start to plan out the day, look for those temperatures warming up into the mid 40s for your highs this afternoon. That does come with plenty of sunshine as well. Changes are coming our way though. No snow chances now, but we are going to see those snow chances begin to jump up overnight tonight towards tomorrow. We'll see rain and snow throughout parts of your Saturday, and then that will start to wind down as we move towards Saturday afternoon. Again, your weekend forecast, a rain snow mix on Saturday with highs around 40, 44 on Sunday, sun early. But rain will start to move in by the time we get you towards dinner time or so. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. Quarter to seven now. Urban turkeys are plentiful around Madison. It seems they're emboldened by their numbers, and they certainly aren't as innocent as they look. Yeah, just a few weeks ago, there was an attempted turkey break-in at News 3 Now. Just take a look at this video. Yeah, it seems like a turkey takeover is happening all over the place in Wisconsin. But here's what happened in our neck of the woods. These guys are always romping around the News 3 Now grounds. Uh, they can be a little aggressive. They'll come after you. They will. I have uh, made friends with them. We're good buddies. <laughs> I don't know that every news anchor feels that way, though. Over on the east side of the state, a gang of fiendish fowl gave a local reporter in Wauwatosa quite the scare. Bill Walsh from our CBS station in Milwaukee has more on their brazen birds. Yeah. Shocking video sent to us this morning from CBS 58's Amanda Porterfield. <laughs> An attack on one news anchor is an attack on us all. So the station sent out the two toughest, most ruggedly handsome people they could find to even the score. A hard target search of Amanda's neighborhood. The mean streets of Wauwatosa found nothing. Maybe the birds realized they messed with the wrong local celebrity. We decided to call in an expert from the highest levels of federal government. Turkey breeding time is coming upon us as well, too, so they even get a little more aggressive. So we had to be careful. These birds appear to fear no one. They travel with impunity. A 10-ton county bus doesn't phase them. They may even consider themselves above the law. Generally, wildlife in the urban setting is, is an advantage and is a bonus for people to but at times, they certainly can cause some conflicts. Our investigation goes deeper. A source sent us this explosive video from early 2021 showing Amanda and turkeys have a long, sordid history. He's chased me to my car. What makes Amanda run afoul of all these turkeys?
we went to the person who knows her best. She woke up to a turkey apocalypse this morning. Amanda's mom did not want her face on camera, possibly out of fear of a Thanksgiving-based revenge. Have you guys been eating turkey on Thanksgiving for generations? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I will this year. I'll settle for some broccoli and green beans. <laughs> we searched the streets of Tosa all day. We wanted these angry birds to be able to tell their side of the story. Finding none, Dan Herchert offered some advice on how turkeys and local television journalists can coexist. Well, if you create a submissive posture and the birds can tend to see that they can they can pick up on that and they can play on that and then they tend to turn more aggressive in certain circumstances if you do run into an aggressive turkey call the city in some cases they will actually take and relocate those aggressive turkeys we also want to take this time to recognize amanda porterfield's bravery we should keep her in our thoughts at this trying time Reporting in Wauwatosa, Bill Walsh, CBS 58 News. Okay. <laughs> so Josh, after watching that package, thought it was me who would be screaming about the turkeys. I think it would be you. It buddy. would be me. I'd be running the other way. You'd yeah. be like, here, Mr. Tom the turkey, I'm coming at you. Here, you like, friends? Yes. You, you, you friend any animal. I'm an animal lover. There's absolute footage out there of me chasing down our news three now turkeys. Yeah, you kind of are a turkey yourself. So. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Not a bad thing. All right, 649 right now. The morning sprint is coming up next. But first, we want to say happy birthday to a couple of folks celebrating today. Logan, all the kids turning three today, including this young woman, Vera, one of my dear friends is grand kids. So happy for you, Vera. Have a great day. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. At Pick and Save, we believe fresh is all about standards. Like for oranges, we check for color and scarring and more. Because when it comes to fresh for everyone, we believe the juice is worth the squeeze. Pick and save fresh for everyone. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison 2022. Vote for your favorites online, including Fry Construction for best kitchen and bath design, best roofer, and best window and doors. Vote Fry Construction at madisonmagazine.com. Thank you for taking care of Lorenzo. For a noticeably smooth shave, Dollar Shave Club. Over these past months, we've all experienced changes and a great deal of reflection. But here's a change you can truly be excited about. Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, permanently removes the fat from your stomach, hips and thighs, and back. I walked past mirrors. I didn't want to see any of that. I can't even tell you how excited I am about Sonobello and what they've done for me. I'm just living my best life now because I'm being the best that I can be. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently. Schedule your free, no-obligation consultation. Plus, get $250 off instantly. You deserve to do something for you. Call 1-888-512-1753 or go to sonobello.com now. Why is L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid the number one serum? So effective with our highest concentration of hyaluronic acid. Pure hyaluronic acid attracts water to help visibly re-pump lines and restore volume. Revitalift Hyaluronic Acid Serum from L'Oreal Paris. Here's why it's smart to custom order your Ford SUV. Because custom orders receive priority. You'll get an extra 1,000 order bonus plus incentive protection, guaranteeing you the best offer now or at delivery. And the features you choose. Want an EPA estimated 41 combined MPG in an Escape Hybrid? A 12-inch touchscreen in an Edge? You got it. In a Ford built your way. Custom order your new Ford SUV or truck today and receive an extra 1,000 retail order bonus cash. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison 2022. Vote for your favorites online, including Fry Construction for best kitchen and bath design, best roofer, and best window and doors. Vote Fry Construction at madisonmagazine.com. 
with Pick and Save, every free pickup order is picked fresh and packed with care, or we'll make it right. We're fresh every day, so shop anyway. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Dane County Regional Airport's Flight of Lights, free and fun for everyone. 652 time for the morning sprint an update on Wednesday night's homicide in downtown Madison the first of the year one of the people of interest now being classified as a suspect homicide charges are pending the second person is also still in jail on a probation violation the victim was shot just as he was leaving the Dane County Jail with a family member next to him more than a dozen shell casings were found at the scene police also recovered the gun it was found in the area where the two were taken into custody by the Alliant Energy Center in a criminal complaint Beloit police have identified the man charged with killing 19-year-old Gian Broomfield outside of Beloit Memorial High School in January. Amari Goodall was located after a tip led police to Holland, Michigan. A tactical team took him into custody without incident Wednesday. He'll face an extradition hearing before he can be transported back to Wisconsin. A man accused of killing six people and injuring dozens more after driving through a Waukesha Christmas parade says he doesn't feel safe in jail. Darrell Brooks sent a letter to his mother paying guards, uh, saying guards paid inmates to spit in his food. He also accused guards and inmates of using racial slurs against him and threatening him with violence. A spokesperson for the Waukesha County Sheriff's Department said a grievance filed by Brooks has been reviewed and staff will continue to monitor his care. A Dane County judge has held Speaker Robin Voss in contempt. Voss is required to turn over documents a liberal group sued for. They're related to the Gableman election investigation. Voss will face a thousand dollar per day fine unless he provides the records or shows evidence he looked for the records as requested by the court. The Best of Madison Business Awards were held this week. The event brought the city's top names in business together for a luncheon and networking session. Guests were offered stories and advice from the city's best business leaders. Our GM, Lyle Banks, helped by emceeing the event. This year's honorees include leaders from Orange Tree Imports, Frank Productions, Sarah Cycling Group, and others. AAA reports this morning that nationwide Americans are paying an average $4.22 for a gallon of gas. In an effort to get those prices down, the president ordering the release of 1 million barrels of oil per day for the next six months, all of it coming from the nation's strategic petroleum reserve. It's the largest ever released from those reserves. It's been a scary weather month for people around the country with a record number of tornadoes touching town. Just in the month of March, there have been at least 214 tornadoes. It's the most on record since 1950. The Storm Prediction Center says the previous record for March was set just last year with 191 tornadoes. Usually there are only around 80. An Amazon warehouse in New York's Staten Island is leaning towards unionization. The National Labor Relations Board released an unofficial tally of the union vote happening there, showing 57% are in favor so far. A final count expected today. It would be the first Amazon warehouse to unionize in the U.S. Meanwhile, workers in an Alabama warehouse voted against unionizing yesterday for the second time. Skippy Foods announcing a voluntary recall of some peanut butter products due to the possibility that a limited number of jars contain fragments of steel from a piece of manufacturing equipment. The recalled items have used by dates from early May 2023. The products were sold in 18 states, including Wisconsin. If you don't like your recent purchase from Ikea, you're in luck. The Swedish furniture company will pay you for the items. It's called the buyback and resell program, and it's now a permanent part of the company in its 37 U.S. stores. It only applies to personally used furniture that is fully assembled and functional. We are looking at sunshine this morning. Temperatures hanging out at 25 degrees now. So we're already starting to warm things up and we will continue to warm up throughout the day. Road conditions are going to be all smooth and sky conditions generally stay clear throughout the day. Look for temperatures over the next 12 hours going from the 20s and into the mid 40s. That does come with sunshine as well as you plan out your day. All right, Chris Reese, thank you. And thanks for joining us, everyone. Make it a great day and have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you Monday.